probably slightly depends on on the nature of, of the domain, where where they are, what what level of wines they have. Um, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, yes, they would be they would be excited to to start working with us and, and to have access to to the market. Um, and I think hopefully as well, with, if, if, as Thibaut says, the, the UK is the num number one uh, for all imports, then. Uh, our, our role in a way becomes even even more important, but um, yeah. Again, I I think ultimately producers and, and Tebow would, would would know better than myself. But they want their wines to be to be visible. I think there's um, and that means basically on tables, on the shelves. You know, I'm sure they're they're very delighted to have their wines you know, squirreled away into some wonderful private cellars and, you know, a portion of the wines being poured do end up there. But I think also there's something exciting as a producer to, to walk into a top restaurant in London or uh, Manchester or Bristol and see your wine on the list, order it. And, and you know, that, that must be great. You stay, stay away all year in the vineyards and there's the fruits of your labour, you know, six, seven hundred miles away on a table in a little... Yeah. cozy restaurant um so i think yeah more and more that's the, it's the quality of placement yes volume can be important um but i think the the, the domains that we're talking about um in burgundy are relatively small compared to perhaps some other regions or some, some other countries and therefore it's yeah it's more about quality of distribution rather yeah. than purely about um, quantity